Hi, welcome to GuruFocus.com. My name is Charlie Tiam, the founder and CEO of GuruFocus.com. With this video, I want to show you how you can take advantage of GuruFocus all-in-one screener to find the stocks ideas that you will never be able to find anywhere else. Let me show you the features we have with GuruFocus all-in-one screener. Please look at my screen here. This is an overview of all-in-one screener. It covers more than 60,000 stocks worldwide, anywhere you can think of, Euro-Eyes, Europe, Asia, and Latin America, South America. And it has more than 200 existing filters. And you can also create unlimited number of customized filters. If you think that uh, our filters don't satisfy what you need, and you can create your own customized filters. And we provide also more than 30 pre-existing screens. Uh, if you don't know where to start with, you can always start with, with our pre-existing screens. And you can also filter with the historical data. You can, uh, you can compare with any stock you have in mind. You can view, you can change uh, the view of the results. You can rank the results. And you can back testing your strategy. And of course you can save it, you can download the results. Now let's go to all one screener. The GuruFox All-in-One Screener, it's under the Screener's uh, Manual, the first one, it's All-in-One Screener. And now I, I'm here. If you don't select any filters, if, if you come to the All-in-One Screener, it will list the complete list of number of stocks that we have in the market. And it lists in the order of, from market cap to the big highest to the smallest. And uh, as you can see, the first area is the region. The region, you can select the regions you're interested in, the US, Asia, and Europe, and Canada, UK, and et cetera. And uh, among each region, it has uh, exchanges and the countries. And uh, if you're interested in a particular country, you can just select the country. For instance, if you're interested in Austria stocks, you select here, you can uncheck the US, and the results will all only be in Austria. And you can see it's already here. And uh, of course, I, uh, you can change to a different area, uh, Denmark, uh, Finland, anywhere you can think of. You can just change the region. The results will be uh, for that region. Uh, the stocks treated in that country. And uh, of course, most cases we're working with the US uh, stocks. And here I will use US as an example. And now we're starting over. There's no filters set. If we come here and if I just uh, change the filters, for instance, I want to look at the bigger companies, companies with more than 50 billion sales a year. Now it's here. And I want to look at certain industries. And I want to look at the financial service industries with more than 50 billion stocks, billion sales in revenue. And you can see a few Berkshire Hathaway, JP Morgan, Bank of America, and a few financial companies. And of course you can, this is a sector you can go into the different level of industries. And uh, for instance, I just want to look at the insurance companies. I just uncheck that, I come here. Now I'm just looking at the insurance companies. Of course, first one is Berkshire Hathaway, then we have certain and Chinese company and uh, German companies are all because they're here because they're all traded in the US. And uh, uh, you can see a long list of them. And of, of course, you said, I want to just look at the US companies. Then you check the country here, the country, uh, the headquarters. If I just want to like, look at the US companies, now I'm just looking at the US companies. So, a Prudential, MetLife, um, Berkshire Hathaway, AIG, Allstate, those kind of companies that has more than $50 billion in sales annually. Of course, then you can change it to a smaller number, $5 billion now. And of course, you will get more companies uh, with Progressive, MetLife, there's all the US insurance companies. And uh, now you can combine with any other ratios you you have in mind. If an insurance company, you want to have ROE at least 10%. Okay, now, now I will just uh, check 10% here. Now it's the ROE more above 10% and this leads to the ROE of all the re, uh, companies in the results. And then you can sort it. Of course, you can just uh, click on it and sort it. And uh, you can sort it with cells, and for any any ratio, 
for any ratio, any filters here, you may, sometimes you want to see the results, but you just don't want, you don't want to filter it. So you then, if you put a mouse here, there's a little eye here, click on that. And in the case, in this case, I'm showing the ROA. I'm not filtering with ROA, but I want to see the ROA. So I just click here. Same thing with market cap. And uh, okay, I put my mouse here. It's not displaying. So I click here. It The market cap's here. It shows the market cap of all the companies that coming out of the uh, results. And uh, I'm not filtering with it. Of course, I can also filter with it. I, I want to have at least $100 billion in market cap. And then there's only one company left, which is Berkshire Hathaway. And if I want to go 10 billion, for instance, and of course I got a lot, lot more companies. And, uh, and that's, uh, there, we have so many tabs also. And you want to at least the, the P ratio, I want cheaper stocks, P ratio less than 18. And now the P ratio is here. All the P ratios are listed and the, the ones with P ratio less than 18 are here. And uh, oh, same thing with PB ratio and lots of other uh, ratios here. And uh, then you can add uh, the profitability, profitability ratios, like operating margin, net margin. Uh, for instance, I want operating ratio, margin at least 10%. And actually none of those insurance companies have that kind of margin. If I want to have 4%, for example, I still don't any, get any uh, operating margin. Okay, I got 2%. Oh, okay. I think the reason is because that uh, might be the, uh, sometimes the ratio does not apply to the uh, to the company and uh, okay the operating margin here because it's not an operating company. So if I just look at the net margin here, okay, the net margin is is listed here. So that's a way to use the uh, existing filters. We have a lot more the growth, the valuation rank, the price, the dividends, and Okay, you want to look at the dividend yield of all these companies. You just click here, the dividends are here. And of course, you can filter it. You want at least a 3.5% of dividend yield, then you have only two companies left. And you can relax your results. Of course, 2.1%, you get a lot more companies. And all these columns, you can, you can draw, drag and drop it to anywhere you want to see it. And uh, you can uncheck those you don't want to see. For instance, operating margin, I just uncheck it. It's it's gone. And you can combine it with the guru data and the insider data as well. And also, if none of these filters do not satisfy your needs, you can create customized filters here. And I have created a lot here, but if I want to finish, I want to create a new one. I want to create the filters, I give it a name called test uh, five, three, test three here. And uh, I have a revenue requirement um, uh, divided by uh, cost of goods sold, for instance. And uh, I want it higher than, greater than one, greater than 1.1, just as an example. And uh, I put it there, I confirm it, and yeah, my my results will show here. It does not show any results because I have all insurance companies there. But if I just uncheck it, I just look at all the companies, not just insurance companies, and uh, the results will be here. And you can see that's my uh, customized filter. And uh, cost of goods is divided by, uh, the revenue divided by cost of goods, so it is higher than, 1.1 and here the ratio is here. So I satisfy my needs. And uh, next time, for instance, if you come here, what I created is already here, sales divided by the cost of goods sold. It's called test three. And uh, I can change it. I can change it to 1.2 and the results would of course change. And I can switch it all off, I, I, it will be gone. And uh, so I, and I turn it on, of course, again. Uh, that's how you do it. And now I have all the industries. And uh, there's one another feature is called historical data filter. Uh, so I, I want the sales, not just this year, more than 5 billion. I want every year more than 5 billion. 
And I just click this plus sign here. Now it's here. And I want it from 2016 to current year. The value, the value is always more than 5 billion. So I enter 5,000 here. And I, the results should be displayed. It filters, the results will be displayed here. The sales number of every year is displayed here. You can see the sales, to this current sales, this previous sales from 2016. Every year needs to be higher than 50 billion. And it's it's here. It's listed here. And uh, now uh, if I go back to this, uh, this filter and you can see that uh, uh, now it, I can. I want it grow, grow more than five percent every year, not just higher than certain value. I want it grow more than five year, um, every year. And you actually don't you don't find that many stocks that can satisfy those kind of requirement. And if I change the number smaller, I'll just give it a try to see if if there's results. I want the results. Uh, the company grow the sales every year, year over year, at least two percent. And you can see that it's it's listed here. And so some smaller companies, if I make, I think because I have certain requirement on market cap and on sales, that's why and the number of companies that uh, satisfy those needs will be uh, smaller. And if I relax those requirements, you can see that there are more companies that uh, satisfy those needs, those kind of needs. Uh, year over year, every year, and you can use that filter. And uh, it's a, it's a actually very strong requirement. If I una enable it, it's it be gone. Uh, it will not uh, restrict the results. And uh, because I also have that customized filter on. Because if I if I remove that one, and and uh, there will be more companies that satisfy those kind of needs. Uh, that's a historical data filter. You can also assume that uh, this year is not 2022. And uh, as I'm making this video, you can assume it's a it's a older, it's a five years ago. You want to see the results five years ago. You just uh, select here, uh, assuming it's now in 2017, July of 2017, and you change that date. It will filter uh, the results just like you were five years ago. And uh, now you can see the results. You can see the results uh, just like you were doing it five years ago. And that's uh, it's that's also the historical filter here. And with all of this, uh, you can do the back testing. Uh, assuming you don't know how your strategy will work, you want to know how the strategy strategy will work, and uh, you you want to see how uh, the with the results I said here, you'll see how it will do if you were start doing it five years ago. So the results is called back testing. And uh, assuming I start back testing July 2017, five years ago, I do a rebalance every six months. And uh, the, the with my results, I want to rank by ROE. And uh, the higher the better. I just want to test the top 10 stocks. So I just click on go. It will start to calculate. Um, it will filter just like it was uh, from time to time and rebalance every six months. And it's uh, survival bias free back testing. You can see the results. It's calculating different years, different time, different quarter, calculating continuing. Uh, doing the testing here, and at the end, it will display the results. Uh, yeah, now it's done. Let's look at the results. Okay, and the results it compares with the uh, with the index directly. The portfolio, the the, the strategy actually is this this blue line, and. Uh, uh, okay, I think it's portfolio values. Yeah, the strategy is this blue line, and now this different kind of index. So the strategy actually didn't. This strategy didn't work really well, but uh, it's just the results. It's just I'm just showing you how the back testing worked. I just uh, um, 
I didn't have any uh, requirement here. So because I have a dividend requirement, so the dividend stock actually didn't do really well over the past five years. And that's how the filters work. If you don't know what you, what you are looking for, but we have a lot of pre-existing filters. They are listed under the screeners manual here. And you can see here, you can start with any of them. And my personal favorite is called high quality, low capex filter. I just select that one. The filters are set automatically according to the high quality, low capex requirement. And uh, the results is actually listed here already. And uh, you can always start with that. You can always start with that and you can add your own requirement to it. For instance, you want press to sales ratio lower than two uh, based on above what we have already there and uh, to find more stocks for you or to find the higher requirement uh, stocks for you. And uh, now you, you can add it to it. And once you add to it, the results of course will change and you can save it. You can save it to yourself, uh, your own screener. And if you see this way, I call it my own screener, uh, 2022. Uh, I'll do that, uh, I save it. It's saved. Next time when I come, when I come to Guru Focus again, and uh, now it should be here, my own screener 2022. And I click on that, it took the results is here already. So everything is set already. And uh, you can, you can, so it's, it's very easy. You can create it, you can save it. You can, uh, of course you can download it. You can download the results to Excel. Just click on here. It will, the results will be in an Excel file and you can use it, uh, put put more functions to it uh, in, the, in the Excel. And uh, you can also save the results into a portfolio. Just click on here. Yeah, and you can, you can create a portfolio. And it says create new portfolio, the names here, you can change it to a different name, the stock list, kit, and the results is here, create. Now the results is saved in a portfolio and you can go there, uh, look at Guru Fox portfolio page, it's, it's there already. And from here, you can monitor the performance of this portfolio over time. Yeah, that's uh, lots of features. And one last thing I want to add that you can see the results here. If there's columns you want to add, you can just click on here and you can rank the results. Also, you can click here, click on here. All the active filters are already listed. You can rank them with different ranking, uh, give them different weighting. Uh, you don't have to, oh, they're default to 100%. You can, for instance, I want this one, weight, weight less which is just 20%. And uh, then the results will be changed. Uh, and see this overall rank, it's already there, ranked with a ranking factor you, you set there. And uh, it's customized ranking. So overall, this screener is really powerful. And uh, we encourage you to use it, test it, use it. And uh, if you have any feedback, always let us know and uh, we will work on it and to improve it. Uh, also, as always, if you want to contact us, you can create a, a support ticket. Uh, there's also the online chat, you can chat with us and you can always set a one-on-one -on -one tutorial meeting with us and we'll be very glad to answer any questions you have specifically during the one-on-one -on -one meeting. And uh, again, thank you very much for watching.